Hello, good morning. And this is just a little impromptu video just to give you a re um, to show you what uh, machines I've got. Some aren't working at the moment, which I'm going to be working on today. So while I've got them out so I can clean and uh, to see what the problem is, I thought I'd do a video first. Uh, I've got Sudden. And if I just go into the oldest, I think this is about 1920, this singer. As you can see, I had to download this, and it's a class 99, 99K sewing machines. And that's very similar to the one I've got there. But it does cover it anyway, because um, the instruction manu man manual does cover this era. So as you can see... Um, a hand crank one and I do not use it very often very rare but I have got all the bits that go with it so that's my first one that's the oldest one I've got and that does actually work that's in good working condition this is the second one again this was bought second hand a Jones um, I think this is 65 to 68, somewhere around there, and my other Jones manual covers this one, even though it's a different shape and a slightly different model. Uh, my brother brought me this one for three pound from a charity shop. Uh, then we had to buy the foot pedal and the connection for the foot pedal off eBay. It does work, so there's nothing wrong with the motor. It's just that at the moment I can't get it to sew properly so that I need to look at that. So that's the second one. As you can see on the table, I've actually got the manual. Let's pull it out so you can see. For a Singer Serger. Um, and that's over in the corner. I very, very rarely use it. That's absolutely fine. I just frightened it up a bit basically. That's uh, not actually a sewing machine, but it can be used as one. Now this one's my favourite. It's the Brother Innovus 955. And it's got both instructions books, which are down there. Look, it's got the extended table. Um, and at the back, because it's an embroidery machine, there's my table that connects to make it so I can create embroidery patterns. And pictures. Uh, fortunately, that one that cost me originally £800, I think you can now get them for about £500. I have had it about five, six years, and uh, unfortunately, it's not sewing. The top stitch is absolutely fine, the bottom stitch isn't, and I need to address that, clean it, oil it, and try and work out why that one isn't sewing properly. But that is my favourite, and it's got all the whistles and bells on it. And that's the one I need to get working more than any others. This one is a singer. Um, oh, it's a 3 to 8 K, okay, and I brought these separately from eBay. So I do like to try and get the original things if I can. Uh, this one's sewn perfectly. Um, this cost me £15 from a charity shop, and then I think uh, a couple of weeks ago. The foot stopped working, so my brother had to sort that one out for me. It's a good job I've got a brother that used to be a mechanic, so he comes in handy. Um, so that's the Singer 3 to 8K, and that's absolutely fine. There's no extension table or anything with that. I think uh, I survived it again, I think that's around 1960. This is an Atlantis, and I've actually got the original book with that. Turn it round. Oops. Or if it's not for this machine, I think I bought this off eBay. Again, I had to source that one. Um, and then that's the original foot pedal. And some original parts in there, in that box. This one sews absolutely brilliantly. It's got the neatest stitch. And it's, um, it's a good job I've got two at the minute that are working right. Um, but that's absolutely beautiful. Really love this one. What I did forget to tell you about the Singer 328 is that it's got cams with it. So this is actually 
an embroidery machine and you change the cams under there and you can get different types if I just show you there you go there's all the some of the cams in there and original for this machine screwdrivers and parts and feet etc etc so that's what I've got to tell you about the 3 to 8 um, as you can see at the back there I've got a singer traditional and I paid that was new uh, my brother and the singer uh, this foot singer was the only ones that were new but I did get that as a good price I've actually brought that one in Turkey when I lived there and um, and that's just an ordinary straight stitch it's got a button on feature on it that one's not working right at the minute and yet this one and this one the Jones are the only two I can free embroidery motion and I'm having problems with that one and that one so I've got to get them right as well and then this is the extension table with this singer and because of the size of it it's absolutely brilliant I'll just come round here to the front to show you the Jones this has got to be my favourite out of all the machines look at that 1960 61 the original table it's got the, I've got the original box for it the original foot I downloaded me um, instructions it's just a straight stitch when that's sewing it sews beautifully and that's the one I love free motion sewing on so I've got to get one of these right so I can do some with some of my quilts and as you can see there's some of the boxes and covers that I have with them over there in the corner so there you go that's all my machines and now today I'm going to spend a couple of three hours on cleaning, oiling and I shall put a piece of paper on with the date and time, the date uh, that I actually cleaned and oiled, changed needles etc etc and I'm going to see if I can try and get me brother Jones and the singer to work they're all top stitching fine it's just something to do with the bottom with the shuttle there you go I'll just sort of show you which ones I use but if they all break I can use that one <laughs> go back to the old fashioned way oh, anyway I just thought you might be interested thank you very much